What's your own reaction to the potential impact for this Ghanaian economy if you get your way in the bill that's passed? Very good evening to our viewers, to yourself and to my co-panelists. I think that the point must be made that you, your, your graph settles this matter and um, figures don't lie. Um, the impact to Ghana is going to be negligible to non-existent because, I mean, at the end of the day, um, even when you look at the areas that Dr. Thierry Champon spoke about um, in terms of um, education, for example, mm. Ghana is in a position to, we introduced the free senior high school program, which actually cost us more than the 5% that donor funding gives to things like the inspectorate board. Okay, and so clearly we can fund our education 100% if we choose to. And, and that is even without taking into consideration proper prudent use of the resources that we have. When we, when we talk about tourism and a negative effect on tourism, for example, that's something that I would again challenge with empirical evidence because uh, except anyone is going to suggest that the boom in tourism in Ghana is a sex-driven tourism. It's the same sex as, as, as LGBTQ sex tourism that we're having in Ghana. Most of the people who come to Ghana for Afrochella and all the concerts that we have come here because of the music and the ambience that we have. But I guess the point is some Ghana, people in the West might dissociate themselves and might not come because this is a country that is anti-gay and criminalized. A lot, of, a lot of people travel to Dubai as a holiday destination. Dubai has a lot more tourists than Ghana. Mm. Dubai, you can't even kiss mm. as, a, as, as a straight couple. A man cannot kiss his wife in public. But he's the world's hottest tourism destination. Absolutely. So, I mean, <laughs> people, because at the end of the day, whatever your sexual proclivities are, are supposed to happen in the confines of your room, um, outside of the tourist reasons why you came here. You won't go and be expressing your sexual proclivities at the Kwame Nkrumah Mausoleum or at, at the Independence Square. You'll be doing that in the privacy of your bedroom. And so this whole talk about it having an effect on our tourism, again, is, 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 is largely, largely perception, but not reality. Because like I said, the evidence exists. Look at what's happening in, in, in Dubai, for example, as, as a tourist destination. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and click the bell icon and get notified every time we share something interesting. We would love to have you on the